Hi everybody, it's Ann Patchett and Nemo Van Devender. Guess who's out of warranty? Guess who can't go back to the shop? Yay, it's Nemo. All right, I wanna say again, Nemo, how glad we are that you all chipped in and were so helpful for the Book and Book Drive. I know I said it last week, but you donated over $2,200 worth of books for summer reading to be distributed by Bookham, which meant we matched your donation. And that means it's like $4,500 all told of books going to kids this summer. So thank you very much for that. Now, I wanna to talk to you about something that is very near and dear to my heart. This book, Amy Tan's Backyard Bird Chronicles is really astonishing. She had a journal of birds that she saw in her own backyard that she fed, that she took care of. And she wrote this all out. And her wonderful editor, Dan Halpern said, you know, that's really good. We should make a book out of it. People went nuts for this book and it sold out in three days, but because it's so beautiful and full color, it's taking forever to reprint. Can you imagine? You make this unbelievable book, you're Amy Tan, it turns out you're not only a brilliant novelist and memoirist, you can actually draw birds like Audubon and they immediately sell out of it. So the book has gone back to press and it will be here end of this month or early August. And we're gonna do a pre-order campaign for it. Now, what that means is you order this book. If you order it in advance, what you'll get when we have copies again you'll get a gorgeous postcard that Amy Tan made and you'll get a signed book plate. So please do this. You'll be so happy. The people who came to the event actually got like the last copies and everybody wanted five more and we didn't have them. I really want to see this book back at the top of the bestseller list where it belongs. Okay. Um, Tell it to me singing by, uh, Tita Ramirez. I started reading this book last night. I love it. It's about a mother and a daughter. Daughter's pregnant, not entirely convinced she's with the right guy. Mother in the hospital having some heart problems and they're watching their telenovela together. What are you, resting? Okay, that's good. That's just relax. <laughs> um, <laughs> it is a stressful job being a shock dog. You have no idea. Um, and what was so great about this book is I am getting a prize from the Chicago Public Library in October with Christina Henriquez. And we did a little Zoom thing together and I asked her what she was reading and what she loved. And she said this, and she has a beautiful quote on the back as does Kevin Wilson. So I started reading it, Christina, always right and we love her. And then quickly, before my dog just passes out, mm -hmm. Long Island Compromise. Everybody is gonna be so excited about this book. Guy gets kidnapped, wealthy Long Island family, and it's about the repercussions of that kidnapping. He gets found, but throughout the history of their family. It is very funny, very sharp, very fast, um, and angry. And if you like Jonathan Franzen, this is it, Taffy. Okay, Lindsay has a super, super special guest. I'm gonna wake my dog up. And Lindsay, take it away. Every week we creep closer to making this into a variety show. I just love it. Um, I'm gonna go a little quickly because I do have a special guest. So if you're looking for historical fiction, Kate Quinn, The Briar Club. If you would like to read some short stories, the History of Sound by Ben Shattuck. The Great Hemisphere for some dystopian genre bending. And Novola, if you want some high fantasy, but like literary fantasy, check all of those out. They are also on our website under the new releases page. But to get to the next portion of our variety show, <laughs> we have Liz Briggs Yay! here. Talk Yay! about lo-fi. <laughs> Hi, I'm Liz Briggs. Um, my book lo-fi is out today. Apparently, it's out today. It sure is, and it is your debut. It is my debut novel. That's why I'm holding a poster. Um, Lo-Fi is set in the 2010-2011 Nashville indie music scene. It follows our heroine, Al Hunter. She works the door at a music venue, small club, 
uh, based off of a place in town. Uh, and we get to follow her as she tries to make music, make friends, honestly, make a lot of mistakes um, and find love. And yeah, it's really, it's my love letter to Nashville, to music, to songwriting, to all the bands you loved when you were 22 and all the people you loved when you were 22. And I'm so excited for you to read it. I love this book. The nostalgia hits hard, but it's so good. There's lots of playlists in it. There's lots of music. Um, and yeah, I hope you like it. And then, yeah, we were gonna shout out maybe. Yes, we do. I have two pub. I have two pub date pals whose books are also out today. Cat Shooks, humor me. I have both of these on pre-order, so I haven't read them yet. Loved her first so much. So excited to read this. And August Thompson's Anyone's Ghost, uh, which I believe has been summed up as queer yearning and Metallica. So sure. I can't wait. What else? Read these two. Let me that. <laughs> okay, and we will throw it back over to Elise. But thank you for being here. Thank you guys so much. <laughs> Hi everyone. Hey, I want to shout out to Tammy from Texas. Tammy, thanks for watching. Thanks for coming all the way to Nashville to come to Parnassus Books. And while I'm at it, thank all of you for watching. Hey, I don't know how many times a day people come in and say, where's Waldo? Okay, but what I tell them is you come, you pick up your passport, you go to all of the stores around us, and you can be looking for Waldo, but I'm gonna tell you all a secret. Don't tell anybody else. Actually, tell everybody else. I know where he's gonna be, and I'm gonna tell you right now. At the end of the month, look on the calendar. He's gonna be here. So that's where Waldo is gonna be. I don't know where he is right now, but I know where he's gonna be at the end of the month. So come the end of the month, where's Waldo? Get your passport. It is so much fun. Okay, tonight, Trisha Levenseller. And this is The Darkness Within Us. It is a romanticy, and Rayanne is gonna tell you more about it. Bear, Julia Phillips. This is one of those books that Anne and I are constantly arguing, like, who loves it more? I do. Who loves I, it? I do. Who? Okay. <laughs> okay, so We're getting a I'm, getting, I'm getting a cue card, which of course I can't see because I'm half blind, but I think whatever it is, I got it taken care of. Um, and if I don't, we're gonna hear about it at the end. But anyway, Bear, I loved this book. It is our first edition of Club Selection. <laughs> Everybody's hysterical around here. But I'm being really serious, because this is great and I want you to read it and she's gonna be here. I'm sorry, I believe it is completely filled up. There is a wait list for this. But you know what, just order the book. Order the book because it's signed and you can get a signed copy here. Then Thursday, Jeff Zentner, Brittany Caballero, and Sunrise Nights, another young adult book that Ray Ann is going to talk about, but this is gonna be on Thursday. And then maybe somebody thought, I wouldn't start talking about lo-fi, but here it is, folks. Yeah, well, there is gonna be event, an event, and in, in fact, not just Liz Riggs. Do we want to just hear a shout out for Liz Riggs? Woo! Okay. Still but also, else. who is she in conversation with? Lindsay, Lindsay Lynch. Lynch. Woo! I think that is so funny. Anyway, not that she's in conversation, but that you are worried. Of course, <laughs> this is great. And I'm telling you, because I love you all, go ahead and register for this event now so that you don't have to miss out when it's completely filled. Okay. Also this month, I mean, Chuck Tingle, okay? We're gonna have an event with Chuck. We're gonna have an event with Daniel Silva. I believe Chuck and Daniel, these are ticketed. They're gonna be at the Nashville Public Library. Go ahead, get your tickets. And while you're at it, there are other events this month that are online that you need to sign up for. The books aren't out yet, but I'll tell you about those next week. Okay, I think that's it. I think I remembered everything. Hey, do we want to talk about Liz Riggs and Lindsay Lynch again? <laughs> Why don't we just go to Rayanne? <laughs> okay, here's a fabulous Rayanne. Hi, everybody. Hey, the YA event tonight is with Trisha Levenseller, and we are so excited. This is The Darkness Within Us. It's a YA romanticy. It's about a duchess and that other guy who's trying to steal her inheritance. But take a look at this. It's beautiful. So she'll be here tonight in conversation with Jennifer Lynn Alvarez. A few seats left. Thursday, Jeff Zintner, our local friend, is here with Brittany Caballero, and they have co-written a novel in verse, Sunrise Nights. 
It's about two teens on the last night of sleepaway camp who meet each other for the first time and hit it off and decide not to contact each other again after the sun rises. Another YA, A Magic Fierce and Bright. This is about a technomancer trying to save her sister in a magical kingdom. One of my favorite Parnassus Next books from last year is out in paperback today. It's a perfect size for, to carry around. Something Close to Magic by Emma Mills. This is about a girl who had to leave magic school. She's now working in a bakery and then someone shows up asking her to use her magic again to find someone and she says yes. Picture book friends, Imagine Noodles by Christopher Eliopoulos. This is about a little hedgehog who's a little anxious and finds out how to expand his boundaries after meeting his neighbor. Sheep wrecked, sheep wrecked mm. by Ashley Bellote. It's about some sheep who get shipwrecked. I mean sheep wrecked. And they're lost forever, are they? No, not until a pirate find, comes and helps them out. Thanks for listening. You can find all these books at parnassusbooks.net slash new releases. And happy shopping.